Yeah man, we are going man. So, I a drifter. And today, the bad engineer I do a wicked conversion. So right now, today, I'm planning on converting these ES1 performance Honda um, disc wheels to the ladder. Um, since I'm going a bit faster now, I will be needing more stopping power. I'm not saying that the ladder did not have stopping power, but the engine that I have is a bit more heavier than the original ladder engine, I think. I'm not sure. That is just um, estimation. Right, but... Um, since I'll be going faster and quicker at a bit of faster rate, right? You need brakes to stop. These brakes on the website they said that they are rated for high temperature and extreme braking, right? So I bought these, these are for under ES1, and it's not something new. I've done it before on the rear of the car, right? These are Nissan, I think, B13 brakes, right? This and Central B13, and I converted them to the ladder. It was the first thing I've done on the car, right? The first conversion before I've done anything, it was the first control conversion because the ladder came with drum brakes, right? So, and these were a bit slow for the hydraulic sand brake, right? So, if you really want good braking, you'd have to get through to this wheel with the hydraulic right so I converted it here I can show a little small video right of it so that's all Sizzler say big up Sizzler mm -hmm. I tell her man simple thing you turn on everything just like every other's break you see me spinny diff it turn same way yeah. I like it and turn turn same way everything and clear and say everything they funny but I just say things set man Simple thing, me tell a simple design, and no, no, no. See what's up. So it has been done before. It's nothing hard. So this one won't take a lot of time, and I will try to keep the video short. Yeah. So straight to the bill. The brake. Lada original calipers. It's not a bad braking system. It has dual um, pistons, so you will get a high braking force. But the problem is this: the single blade this wheel. This can be overheated quite easily because there's no venting or nothing on it to stop it from heating up, right? No cooling, right? So if you have extreme braking, after a while you will have warping, which equals to the bending of the disc wheel, which is, I don't know if you guys have ever driven a bend disc wheel car, but you feel like you're losing brakes. So the brake will hold, then it will lose, then it will hold. That's not good, right? So I'm removing all of this. As you can see, it's not painted because I know that I would be doing the conversion soon. So I didn't trouble any painting or anything. It's still dirty and everything. So I will have to dismantle this and then go straight to the welding and show you what's up. Yeah, so removing everything from it and going straight to the welding. Yeah, man. All right, so I fully disassembled the um. The hub, this is the ladder hub, believe it or not. It's pretty straightforward. And I've, as, as I've said before, the calipers. Right? This is the caliper with the braking pads and everything, right? So let's just go over in the sun. So we have a little bit more quality of video. Alright, so this is the ladder hub, right? It's pretty straightforward. Right, and this is what I like about ladder. They don't go into a lot of complications. Some simple engineers and simple thing. So this is where the original bracket used to bolt up to. But the Honda brakes are a bit wider. Right? This is cast iron. Welding cast iron is a bit tricky. It's my first time welding cast iron, but I will see what I can do. Yeah, so this is where I'm at right now. As I've said, I've dismantled it already, so it's pretty straightforward. That is the front hub of a ladder right there. One, two, three, four parts. Alright, so strong but very effective. Yeah, so straight to the welding.
don't know that drifter you know, man so anything i'm saying you know, people give video one like man subscribe to it if you never subscribe it touch the bell and show us a black one so you know so you get the notification you see me yeah man so we're going back to regular programming big up on yourself Backyard built in the original backyard built in a man. The coffee grounds are fight, watch a man. Well cool and nice and all still as well, but watch it. It's my first time here well with Cassa and in a man. You see, I think pretty. Watch them man, and think we are drought this year. The drift and not take no trick. You see me what we always say. We now play this year and I owe them. Yeah man, so show me a preview and here I want to You see me? So, see there. Car come together to look good and see by the engine name. We soon get to that. But right now, you want a little preview of what's going so we can see the machine. Um, take off the heat so we can see what's going Yeah, so a full preview of back glass gun in front glass gun in. Trunk and lift up, trunk and lock. You see me? Everything nice, right? True. Yeah, so as I say, I'll drop on this on the car right now, put on it this wheel, and I'm going to see what I go on. See all that bad. Yeah, but before I do that, I have to shout out to two main people in this right now. Right? You have Ron Magard from Kingston and Earl Harris, big up on yourself. Two main sponsors, them and them always are supporting things the same way. If you know a sponsor, the drifter, and just make a link. Contact me on Facebook, Instagram, anywhere, and just let me know. If you want to rate the thing, support the thing, I don't know if you just help out you, you can do it the same way, man. You see me? So big up to Earl Harris. Anything I want, real mechanic from overseas, Jamaican yard man, same way. You see me? Enough time, look at things, me and him will have reason, and so see him way, you see me? Yeah, I have run my guy from Kingston, real bad engineer, see him like me, see him way, building bad car, they mean super under them, we race a jam with and so, yeah man bro, big up yourself, see me, have to shout out to you bro, yeah, so, back to the this wheel them, under this wheel, yes one, and the ladder, I'm going to drop them on right now. Left and right, let me screw off this and show us how I now play this here. I mean, let's tell you an engineering thing with the pan. You see me? See it there? Everything will line up. This part, everything gone in. Carry up and say, now rub and show now. I go on. You see me? See there? Watch it. You hear nothing? Where are you? Nothing. Not one sound. Now, who them man? See it there? Tell you now. Now I'm playing an engineering thing. You see it there? If you don't believe me, millimeters away from the edge. You see me? See it there? Millimeters away, that's about three, four millimeter, right? Distance of clearances. So, in on touch, everything good. Mm -hmm. So, that's how I go on. Mm -hmm. So, front of the car have big bad brake now. So, you can take hard driving, all of them something. People always ask me why I don't drive the car hard and all of them something. I throw me no say. You break in not so hot panny and so you have to be careful, you see me? You see it there? Gone on you now. You break them the panning now, although no impression of the panning, so that's why you see it has spin like that and everything, but everything line up and uh, just be tight up and thing. You see me and see it there, lad have no lock. Right through. The almost on full 90 degree with a lock. You see me? Yeah man. So that's how I go on. And on two sides. Full break right through. Yeah, so that's where we're at right now. So the ladder up and ready. You see me see it there, watch out. Not even see it, y'all push out, watch it. You see it's on an play play thing. You see me? Break ready, break, just as I ready. Everything sat out, see me. This a run, see me, but as I say, caliper them the panny and rub. So, um, me this pad them, so. I just see I go on. But everything ready, conversion completed. So, if you don't know, if you don't want anything converted, just link that drift time we deal with it. You see me? Any brake, any conversion, gearbox, say, gearbox, say, out and everything. Right? Engine, all the same way. So, I get to engine you now. Because I must wonder what I go on. You see me? So, I both set up that drift up. See, the manifold nice and everything. 
valve cover nice, right? So right now a boost set up. I mean, let's tell you, the dream is to have push your suspension, ladder, and boost. So, look by look me, I get you. Anybody who can guess, comment on that video why the turbo name. This is the name, you know, but uh, who made this? Anybody can tell me, just comment on that. I know who, but I have to see if you people know how I go on. The next question is, how much power do you think we must use? Right, a strong turbo, and you know, a play play turbo, this, you know. How much power do you think we must put on the engine? Right? Let me see a real engineer that I mean, comment to see what I go on or what they think I'm going to put on Right? Just comment on that video what I want to think I'm going to put on How much pound? 10 pound, 12 pound, 16, 5, 4, something. Let me know what I go on. Anybody with the most comment at that time, I want to put on me. Put so that's what I go on right now. So I want to see how we now play. We now play this year. Yeah, man. So, Turbo 1NZ, Lada, Drift Car. I would them man, that drifter. Bad car, bad ladder, bad this wheel, bad built, built by who? The drifter, who them? We don't play this year.